I was cloned by Clonaid in Canada. My model number is 0112568 if anyone wants to see the registration and clone. Five years ago, this rapper broke the internet after claiming that he's a clone who escaped from a cloning facility. And he didn't just claim he's a clone, he also proved it. What y'all gotta say now? You see him? We got the same tattoos, same hair, same genetic structure. Everybody who doubted us. Legalized cloning. This spine-chilling video made him even more viral, which helped his rap career gain more attention. But turns out, he was only using the clone conspiracy to hide a much darker secret. He goes by the name Kid Boo. Before the cloning issue, no one was really paying attention to him and his music, but he shocked everyone with what is probably the wildest claim a rapper has ever made. I was cloned by Clonaid in Canada. My model number is 0112568 if anyone wants to see the registration and cloning. Kid Boo claimed that he was a human before he got turned into a second generation clone. When I was cloned, they wiped a lot of memory, but when I stole the documents before escaping, I read that the mother was Puerto Rican and the, uh, I guess the father is surrogate, you could say, was a, uh, the sperm donor was the Sicilian. He said that this is his second body and even explained how the cloning works. And in this fragment of bone, it stores all of your memories and consciousness. And with that, they can make a sufficient replica of yourself, a reproductive version of you, including your memories. And you can be selective as to which ones you keep or don't keep. After revealing his true identity, people started talking about him. And surprisingly, a lot of them actually believed him. But on the other hand, there were also people who laughed at him, saying he is delusional and even calling him a second generation clout chaser. So to shut down the haters, he went live on Instagram and proved it. Sure you want me to do this? Yeah. What y'all gotta say now? You see him? We got the same tattoos, same hair, same genetic structure. What you gotta say now? I mean, I'll wait all day. We're gonna go real viral on this one. And he did go viral. His music stats suddenly went up and the money started pouring in. But despite gaining millions of views, some people said that his music isn't really that good and the only thing that is keeping him relevant is the cloning issue. And according to some articles, this was obviously a publicity stunt for his music career. As for the Instagram Live, people said he was just using split screen, which is very easy to do nowadays. But aside from the publicity, he was using the cloning issue to cover his criminal past. Because as it turns out, Kid Boo was convicted of child abuse way before he got famous. According to TMZ, a then 19-year-old Kid Boo was arrested after punching his baby mama, who was a minor at the time, all while their two-year-old child was present. These controversies ruined his image, which immediately caused his career to go down the drain. Though Kid Boo is still making music, it's clear that he's fallen off. And looking at these views, it's safe to say that his glory days are long gone.